So this video is going to be a departure from the normal types of videos that I make on algorithms and data structures, but I was recently watching a presentation or a talk that was given by Andre Breslov, who is the lead developer of the Kotlin language who works for JetBrains. And this talk was given at the Google I.O. 2018, and he said the following, and I just had to respond to it. So let's take a look at what he said. This example of code with uh, my if statement is something I really hate about my, my code in Java. Uh, because it's uh, like these assignments here, uh, they all fall apart so easily. So I really like to do uh, things like this in Kotlin. So if and many other things are actually expressions. This is something pretty unfamiliar uh, for the C language family. False. Black bear. So I saw this clip, and I immediately thought to myself, what are you talking about? C++ can definitely do this. Uh, I don't want to take Andre out of context. He's definitely correct when he says that uh, if statements are statements to most C languages, or for all C languages, whereas this idea of if being an expression is a bit foreign, it definitely is. And I, I totally agree with Andre that this kind of code where you are declaring something on one line and then in an if conditional and an else setting it to two different values is is really, really, uh, you know, undesirable code. And sort of what you have on the screen here is much more preferable. But uh, this has been talked about a lot in the C++ community. Uh, specifically, I'll show a clip here where Ben Dean at C++ Now 2018 is talking about this exact thing and how we can be more functional now with Lambdas in C++ 11. I started calling it, you know, I plus LE because you can put as many I's as you like in immediately invoked inline initializing lambda expression. The point being that in C++, ever since C++11, we now have lambdas, and with lambdas we also have something called immediately invoked lambdas, or as Ben Dean refers to them, you know, I plus LEs. And with these, we can write a lot more functional code similar to what you get with Kotlin and their if expression. Uh, so of course, it's a little bit more verbose, a couple extra brackets, a couple extra parentheses, but we can write something that is not too far behind. So the point of this video is that, Yes, Kotlin is a very, very beautiful language, uh, but C++ is not, is not as far behind as some would think. And with some of the upcoming features in C++20, specifically ranges is what I'm thinking about, we are going to be able to write a lot more you know, beautiful code as uh, similar to some of the things that you can currently do in Kotlin that you can't do in C++. As always, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit that like button. If you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter for reminders 30 minutes before contests start, and you can find all of the code shown in my videos on my GitHub page. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.